my name is Laura. I review popular internet recipes to see if they're actually any good and if they can be achieved by us mere non-chefs. And today, non-chefs, we are going to be making this wool roll bread <laughs> by Apron. Looks pretty cool, right? Nah. Beep, beep. A few things that I have learned regarding bread on my non-chef journey is that it's all about the yeast, it's all about the kneading and the resting, and most importantly, how well is the recipe instructed? To prevail with the bread? Ooh, ow. Let us see if we non-chefs can make this woolly rolly bready and whether we will have a good looking loaf. But before we get started, pew pew! Laura's not a chef for all things food and Laura Danielle for more daily life things. And my coffee account will be down below if you ever want to show more support. If you enjoy food videos, review videos, and so on being chaotic, idiotic, and silly at times, please consider subscribing. Now, let's go to our ingredients. Ingredients! So here we have all the ingredients we need to make our delicious wool roll bread loaf. Mmm. My first impression when I watched this recipe video is that it seems pretty easy and it doesn't seem to take that much time. But as we know with these professional chefians, looks can be deceiving. So I will let you know how long this recipe truly takes and you'll very clearly see how difficult I find it. I'm an expressive person, you know. Expression. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is we got our yeasty yeast and we got our milky milk. So I need to just warm up this milk till it is lukewarm. <laughs> so it's meant to be warm to touch, but not hot. I think it's ready. Let us add our yeast. Get in there, you. I want to see you nice and foamy and dissolved. So I'm just gonna leave that alone now for about five minutes. So you can go over here, my little yeast friend. That is next, that is next, that is next. I don't know which utensil to use, so I've got a whisk, I've got a spatula, and I've got a wooden spoon. Excellent. Whilst that's proofing, we're gonna add our flour, the salt, sugar, 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 sugar time. Use our whisk. We just give it a little whisk together, making sure it's nice and combined, evenly distributed. All right, that looks pretty mixed. I think we should just wait for our yeast first. So yeah, when the yeasty is ready, then we'll move on. So I have a personal pet peeve with this yeast business. Every single time I make a bread recipe, the yeast never works out the first time round. <laughs> Every time. Because the mixture for it to prove in whether it's water or milk or whatever it is, it always has to be such a specific temperature. And you know what? I don't have a thermometer. So, so I can't check. If it's too hot, the yeast dies. If it's too cold, the yeast dies. And so this is attempt one, attempt two, attempt three, and this is attempt four, which I think at this point, the closest we're gonna get. And I am just ready to get this dough on the road. I'm just gonna use that. And if the dough doesn't rise because of the yeast, then I'll go and buy more. But it's, I checked, it's in date, it's fresh yeast, I just bought it, so I don't know. <laughs> But let's continue with this. So we add the cream, the egg. I know that instant yeast doesn't even need to be proofed. You know, this is what the recipe says and I want to make sure I'm doing things properly, you know? Kind of bubbly yeast mixture. Let's give this a whisk. So Apron uses a mixing machine, but I am the mixing machine in this video. <laughs> If you have a bread making, I mean a mixer like this, then you probably won't encounter this problem. But if you're like me, you'll be doing this by hand. Unfortunately, Apron doesn't say how long to knead this for. I will let you know how long it takes me to get a similar looking dough. And an Apron's dough looks very smooth and it looks not sticky. We'll see how it goes. 
I gotta say, this is a quite a, a pleasant dough to need, as opposed to the milk bread recipes that I've done in the past. Okay, so I've kneaded the dough for about 10 minutes, and you can see how it doesn't stick to my fingers. And it looks like a beautiful little dough baby. It looks so smooth and fun and beautiful. You're gonna be delicious. Best friend. Let's put you in a bowl. A clean bowl. There's the little dough baby. Stunning, fantastic, amazing, beautiful, wonderful, talented. Let's cover the dough. All right, so we proof it at room temperature for 60 minutes, one hour, until the dough has doubled in size. Okie dokie, friends. It has been an hour, and this is what our beautiful dough looks like now. Let's have a look. Well, she's so beautiful. Whilst the bread was proofing, I chopped up my cranberries. And now they're all nicely chopped and looking delicious, ready to go in the bread. Oh, so I've already um, prepared my cake tin. It's got a little, uh, embarrassing. So yeah, that's done. It's, it's all greased up. Next, after that, do I get to punch it? Oh, I love the punching of the dough. I didn't punch it. I want to punch it. Ha ha! <laughs> Me. Okay, so I might actually move you over here. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Let's sprinkle some more. Ha 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 ha. There we go. All right, so we're going to divide this into five equal pieces. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Okay, let's take one of the pieces, kind of squish it out like this, and then we roll it up like this, like a little parcel, a little parcel of joy. Okay, so we're doing that for all of them, so. Well, I tell you what, they are definitely not equal sizes. <laughs> we use this one, pop it over the dough, and we're just gonna let it rest for 15 minutes. And then we get to do the fun part, which is the part that makes it look all woven and delicious. So, see you in 15 minutes. No. So it's been 15 minutes. Now's the fun part, hopefully. Oh, rolling pin. And then we flatten down the outside like this. Ooh, we get a knife for the, I believe, like the half. We do thin lines. It looks like a jellyfish. <laughs> blub, blub. Sprinkle on the cranberries. And then we pull this side in. And this side, and we do some rolling. Roll, roll, roll my bread. Keep the cranberries in. There we have it. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> and we pop it in a little cake tin, like, like this. Then we do the same for the rest. Here they are in all their little glory. I think I did okay. They're a bit squished, but hoping for good results. So we're gonna put um, glad wrap back on top. Uh! Oh no, oh no, oh no. So we're gonna leave it for an hour. And hopefully it's doubled in size again at room temperature. See you soon. <laughs> I've already preheated my oven to 170. We're just gonna put a little milky glop on top of our bread. It's gonna be yum and delicious. You're gonna be so good. 
All the other breads are gonna be jealous. It's like a bread queen. We are the bread queen. Put it in the oven. 17 to 20 minutes. I'll probably do 20 minutes because my oven's crazy. Bye oven friend. See you in 20 minutes. Cooking time. Hello. <laughs> it's serving time. Serving shall we try this bread it looks delicious i cooked it for an extra 10 minutes because when i can't, i mean i can't be 100 percent sure because i didn't cut it open but the center still looked a bit dense but i also didn't want to overcook it so i just thought maybe 10 minutes is fine so it was 30 minutes all together let's try some okay so let's pull it apart Ooh, i don't know where to start maybe Hopefully it's fluffy. <laughs> Ooh. Ah. And then, hopefully, if we break it open in here, we've got some cranberries in here. Ow, it's hot. I mean, <laughs> I'm tough. Ow, oh, oh, ow, e, oh. It burns. Oh, this looks, this looks delicious. Let me get my butter. Oh, do I try it without butter first? No, too late. I'm already jabbing it. I'm becoming a bread master. The bread Laura. Laura is a bread maker. <laughs> All right, let's try it first. I always get a bit ahead of myself. Which part? Ooh, I want the fluff. <laughs> That is so good. It's so fluffy. It looks cool and it's super fluffy. And I will say it was a lot easier than I thought it was going to make. Easier than expected. Um, timing wise, it is now 5.20 to the point where it's cooled down enough for me to eat. And I started at 12, five hours and 20 minutes. Subtract 20 minutes because that's how long it took me to get a yeast that I could use. God damn it, that was the most difficult part of this recipe, you know? Getting that yeast bubbly. Anyway, <laughs> take another 10 minutes off. If your cooking time is more accurate than my oven, then that's 30 minutes. So I guess you could have this done in like just, just under five hours. Bread recipes is that you don't need to like, you're not constantly working for five and a half hours. You are, um, letting it rest for periods of time for like an hour, then 15 minutes, and an hour, then letting it cook for another 20 minutes. So it isn't um, as labor intensive. It just takes time to, time to sprout, time to grow and become a fluffy large dough. This is definitely something I would make again, especially if I was going to like a family gathering or something and I wanted to be like, hey, look at my cool bread, fools, ha <laughs> ha, look at me. And then they're gonna be like, wow, there's cranberries in here. And I'm like, wow, it's yum. And then I'm like, ha ha, yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you next week for whatever I review next. Yeah, all right. See you friends, bye.